Lamar Odom introduced as a Clipper. How does it feel to be here today, Lamar? Oh, it feels great, man. Oh, especially what used to be this team. And now I'm back, so oh, it feels great. The team that drafted you to the NBA in 99, how different is this team now than they were at that time? Oh, it was really different, you know. The jersey was different back then. Um, players are different. And the coaching staff are different. So it's pretty much changed a lot since I was here 10 years ago. And also now they've hired you for ROC TV um, a couple of years ago. That's also another reason why I came here is because of you, baby. And this also trying to be by with, I guess, other teammates such as Chris Ball and Blake Griffin. He was talking about he wants guys that want to be here. What is it about this team now that makes you want to be here even more? Um, it was just it, it's you, baby, and nothing else. And last season, when I was with the Mavericks, I was playing shitty. The reason why I was playing shitty was because I regret my decision afterwards. And can you please forgive me for saying rough fears, because I can't control myself. Now, you joked earlier when you heard that you were traded here, you're like, phew, I don't have to play against Blake Griffin anymore. Mmm. <laughs> Your perception of this team's makeup right now? Um... I want to start a new relationship with this whole team. And that means getting to know everybody in detail, especially you, and just trying to be part of my teammates, such as one of my favorites, Blake Griffin and uh, Chris Paul. Yeah, and go from there. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be my queen right here, because you're such a babe, a true babe. What are you most looking forward to contributing to this group right now? Um, just trying to help gang bangs, you know, threesomes. You know, I guess, because I've heard a lot of big guys doing this sort of stuff, so I don't want to join it. I don't want it myself. Odom and Madeline Burke, and you're watching LAC TV.